This is gonna be a guide on how to play Affliction Lock, uh, single target. Um, it is a quite complex single target spec, uh, and I will try to explain the complexities as best as I can, while showing you a fight where I do uh, the things I talk about in the video. That's why I've chosen to, to show you Terra's Mythic, um, as Terra's is one of the most, like the most single target fight in the Vault of the Incarnates raid. Um, but this can pretty much be used in every single single target scenario as a fiction lock. There might be a few bosses where it changes a little bit, but it is not by a lot. And the core principles are exactly the same. So yeah, I hope you will learn something from this video. What are the talents I use? Uh, they will make sense why I use them throughout the video. I will try to explain it as good as I can. So on pull, you want to set up all your dots and get Shadow Embrace up to 9%. Uh, when that is done, uh, you press Phantom Singularity and Dark Glam, and then you start spamming as many Raptures is in, in the window of Phantom Singularity as possible. The reason why you do this is because Malefic Raptures does more damage the more dots you have on the target, and Phantom Singularity is the longest cooldown of all of your dots. So you want to have all your dots on Terrors when you start spamming Malefic Raptures. Um, the next thing uh, is that you want to keep up Dread Touch as much as you humanly can. Uh, but outside the Phantom Singularity window, you don't want to spam. Um, you don't want to spam Raptures to keep up this Dread Touch. So you want to like let it go to one or zero, and then refresh Dread Touch uh, when you're outside of Phantom Singularity. This is because you want to save shards for the next Phantom Singularity window so you can spam more Malefic Raptures in that window uh, which will in turn make you do a lot more damage on the boss with your Malefic Rapture. Um, another thing I want to note is that I'm holding Phantom Singularity at some places throughout this boss. This is because Dark Lair is very close to being up and Phantom Singularity do uh, does not line up with Dark Lair always. So sometimes I need to hold that Phantom Singularity for Dark Lair. The reason for this is because Dark Lair extends your dots and I want to have the largest window possible for Phantom Singularity. So that's why I'm sometimes holding it. But you won't have to hold uh, Phantom Singularity for every dark uh, no for every uh, every time. You can I think you can use two dark uh, two Phantom Singularities and then you have to hold Phantom Singularity for Dark Lair, and then you can use two Phantom Singularities again, and then you can hold it for Dark Lair. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, to summarize, I'll put some notes on top of the screen right now uh, to what you want to focus on to maximize your single target DPS on this bus, um, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be right here. So the first one is that you never want uh, to let Unstable Affliction drop off. This is because of the talent Malefic Affliction and Dread Touch being reset if you do. So it, that, it's like the most important thing and even I sometimes let it fall off. I let it fall off in this fight at the last, um, at the last phase because I have to run over with a pillar uh, and I simply cannot use Unstable Affliction in that window which sucks. But uh, if it goes off, like that's just how it is, you just have to spam Raptures to get it up to stacks again and uh, get Dread Touch uh, up again. That's just how it is. Sometimes it will happen, but uh, yeah, this is this is probably one of the biggest DPS losses you can do. Uh, and the second one is keeping up all your other dots. Um, yeah, this is just very simple. All of them are instant casts, so not that hard. Uh, have a good weak aura for it. I'll be linking some weak auras in the description. Um, and yeah, when Fan Phantom Singularity is used on the target, uh, is where you want to spam Raptures as much as possible. This is what I went over before, it's simply because your Malefic Raptures does more damage the more dots you have. Make sure when you have Phantom Singularity, for every use of Dark Lair, because you want to spam Raptures in that time. This is where the weird CD comes in for Phantom Singularity. It won't be up for every Dark Lair. So sometimes you just need to hold Singularity for the Dark Lair. When Phantom Singularity is not up, it is very important to keep up Dread Touch, but not try to, but try not to overuse shards. Fish for Tormented Crescendo stacks with Drain Soul. So yeah, this is what I went over before. 
it's just very important to keep up the dread touch even when you're not uh, spamming raptures it's, you, sometimes you just have to use a rapture to keep up the dread touch but you don't want to overuse your raptures you want to have a few shards ready for when you're going to start to blast with phantom singularity phantom singularity has a cd that doesn't line up with the uh, dark lair so yeah just keep that in mind uh, and uh, the number eight is try to find a good time to use inevitable the demise stacks uh, this can be very hard and it's okay to lose dread touch while channeling this um, the, the, this thing can be very difficult and I, that's why I haven't I haven't talked too much about it because it doesn't do too much DPS and it's not too important but inevitable demise stacks uh, you stack them up while having agony on the target and it could, and it uh, makes your drain life do more damage it is hard to find a window where this uh, where you can use this optimally with every single dot being up and your dread touch being up and all that it's going to be a very difficult so sometimes you just have to let go of your dread touch uh, to use this these stacks because you want to use it so you can start stacking it up again and it is a, a, a substantial dps decrease if you don't use it at all so remember to use your inevitable demise stacks so let them stack up again and yeah that's pretty much gonna do it this is short and sweet uh, i hope you learned something and uh, yeah if you did uh, you can like the video if you want and yeah thank you for watching